last year around 2 lakh 50 thousand indian students went to canada at the same time usa and uk also saw around 2 lakh students so majority of the students end up going to usa uk and canada now there are some who end up going to germany some who end up going to australia but there is one country that indian students have specifically been missing out on is ireland now getting into best universities of ireland is not that difficult and at the same time the job market is also good so in this video we going to break down everything about ireland and discuss whether you should be going to ireland or not what are the courses you should definitely not go for in ireland and what are the courses you might think of going for in ireland and at the same time give you a final verdict what to do whether to choose ireland or not and one best thing about ireland it's an english speaking country so students who are thinking of france sweden and german private universities no wait watch this video till the end let me start this video by saying amazon google linkedin all of these big companies that you hear of airbnb what is common amongst all of these companies that they are huge us corporations no actually they have their shop set up either in ireland completely or their european headquarters set up in ireland why do they set up their european headquarters in ireland because the corp Corporate tax in Ireland is just twelve point five percent, which is way less than the twenty one percent and twenty six percent of US and UK. Now, all these big companies, Apple, the biggest company, has its headquarters in Ireland. So, a lot of recruitment happens in that country. But why have they kept it like this so that they can attract major companies why do companies love ireland because they do not need to disclose all their financial records to the government and to the general public and at the same time have a low tax rate which helps ireland be a booming economy now for that a lot of job opportunities come in front and for that ireland needs a lot of people now let's talk about the kind of people ireland needs financial services legal marketing life sciences technology and there are many other things that come in the skilled occupation list of ireland which they require more people of so i'll do one thing i'll leave the skilled occupation list in the description if you are in that list yes definitely go for ireland and if you have anything to do with tech ireland should actually be high up in your ranks if i had to compare uk versus ireland right now in the current economy i might just pick ireland one amazing thing about ireland is that it gives you let's suppose you go for a one year masters program which is ideally cheaper than what you would be spending in usa after the one year masters you get a one year post study work visa plus which is extendable by one year so you get total two years of post study work visa so now right now there is no other country other than uk having that thing so you study for one year and get a two year post study work visa Now having said that not even USA or Canada or Australia have that one year masters with a two year post study work visa even UK might change it Ireland probably wouldn't change that but once you're done with that if you get three year more work visa if you get an extension for three years once you're done with this you apply for extension from the company that you are working with then within 5 years you get a pr in ireland which is an european pr uk is not europe uk is not a part of european union ireland is a part of european union so you get an european union pr within 5 years and then you can apply for the irish citizenship so the process here is pretty much straightforward as opposed to usa or any other country it is very much straightforward provided you end up getting the 3 year extension after your post study work visa now if you're completely sure that you want to come to ireland let me make it even sweeter it is the 14th is country in the entire world so ireland has a lot to offer but i am not the kind of consultant which would only be talking about the pros and not talk about the cons because ireland also has a lot of cons i will talk about all those cons one by one so that you are 100% sure what you are entering yourself into first major con of ireland is that it would be very expensive now ireland in general is not that expensive dublin is expensive You would be ideally going to Dublin because the majority of job opportunities are in Dublin. So Dublin is expensive. You can expect to shell out around twelve hundred euros also for your living rent. So one lakh twenty thousand can also be your rent. So be ready for that. But know one thing that at the same time, if it is expensive, you also have part time opportunities. Right now, if I had to compare it with Canada. There are not a lot of part-time opportunities also available. There are. It gets a bit tricky to get those part-time opportunities because there is such a huge population fighting for those part-time opportunities. At the same time, in Ireland, it's not the case. You end up getting part-time opportunities easily. So even though it's expensive, you would be able to recover the living expenses on your own. Thinking that I will also cover all my tuition fees would be slightly difficult. You would be able to cover part of your tuition fees, but don't think that you will be able to cover entirely your tuition fees with. part time work in ireland that won't be possible second is that even though it is an english speaking country which is a huge pro for ireland they have a weird accent 
it would not be easy for you to understand irish accent i have a very good friend from ireland it was very difficult for me to understand the accent so for the first one or two months it would be difficult after two months absolutely no you get used to the accent you understand it no worries completely fine for you but for the first one or two years oops i actually said one or two years for the first one or two months it would be difficult to comprehend what they're saying beyond that it won't be difficult third point is finding a home in ireland is not going to be easy as we talked about it being expensive even finding a home it would not be like finding a home in india that you go and find a deposit it is slightly difficult for students it's not like it's impossible eventually it is very 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 much possible we do help with that process also finding a home but it would be slightly tricky and a slightly longer process so you should know that it won't be as easy as okay let's go to ireland and we'll have a house there no it won't be that easy next point is uh, unexpected weather it might be sunny in the morning and then it would be raining in the afternoon that happens but then if i had to compare this thing with canada i would love this uh it can get cold but just expect that the weather can be tricky irish weather is really tricky that's that's actually all the cons in ireland but no there are major cons also just know this guys that ireland can be tricky also it's not like you visit ireland you reach ireland and everything is going to be hunky dory that's not going to be the case with any country but always remember to pick a skill which that country requires every country sort of gives out its crs skill ya phir aisi skill the critically required skills if you are going for that skill just know that the number of job opportunities that there would be for you would be numerous and at the same time the government also will support you in one kind or the other right now probably there might not be going on some scheme but definitely when you are there you will find 10 different schemes that will be going on so just know that don't go for a general course go for a good specialized course that i've talked about in this video which courses to go for which to not go for and if you planning to study abroad then the form is in the description my team will help you unbiased we try to be as unbiased as we can so fill the form or watch this video